we come to gradient math, we are asked to solve this problem. We have this isosceles triangle ABC. And inside this a portion, I mean a portion of this isosceles is a right triangle with legs of 5 and uh, 10 unit lengths. And we are required to find the area of this triangle ADB or the blue triangle. Okay, so first thing that we may do is we can actually draw a line, a vertical line from A to this uh, segment CD and it should be perpendicular. Okay. And notice that this is also this is also a right triangle, so same as this uh, triangle ACD. So if we label, we can label this as E, this point of intersection of the uh, from the line, I mean the line from point A to CD. Okay, so notice that these two triangles are actually similar, this AC and uh, ACE and AED, this uh, triangle and this triangle. They are similar because, okay, so if we set this angle, let's see, as alpha, and this should be the complement at D. This should be, we call this beta. And by drawing this line AE, so we form two smaller uh, right triangles. So this is perpendicular also. And therefore, this is a, a triangle ACE is a right triangle. So if this is at C is already alpha, then this should be uh, beta, the complement. And since this is 90 at A, so this is uh, alpha. So therefore, these two triangles by triple angle uh, similarity theorem are actually uh, similar triangles. So ACE and AED. Okay, so notice that the area that we can compare the area of, uh, let's say, this ACE. So, area of ACE versus the area of this uh, ADE. And the corresponding sides for ACE, we are given both the hypotenuse for the two right triangles. So, for ACE, it is uh, 10. 10. And uh, for ADE, it is uh, 5. So, but we need to square this because we are using the area scale factor. So, this is 10 divided by 5, so 2. So, this becomes uh, 2 square is 4. So, area ACE over area ABE is equal to 4. Or we can say that area of ACE is equal to 4 times ADE. ADE. Okay, so next is we let the area of ADE to be A. So this area is A. And the, the area of uh, uh, ACE is equal to 4 times the uh, area of ADE. But we let area of ADE to be uh, A. So 4A. So area ACE will be 4A. So we can write here for a okay so next is uh, we can now write an equation about the area of adb so adb it is equal to area of a b e minus area of this uh, a e d so this portion a b e minus this white part the ADE or AED. Okay, so ABE is actually uh, 
equal to ACE. ACE minus, uh, we just copy this AED. Okay. So, ADB, we are looking for this. So, ACE is actually a 4A minus this uh, AED, which is A. So, area of ADB is equal to 3A. Okay, so next is we go back to the triangle AD, ACD. And it is equal to uh, one half times uh, the base times the height. And in our case, since it is a right triangle, so 10 times 5. So divided by 2. So this becomes 5. So area of ACD is equal to uh, 25 square units. But uh, ACD is equal to 5A, so 5A is equal to ACD. So area of ACD. So uh, this is actually 25. And therefore, it's equal to 5A. So divide both sides by 5. Okay, so A is 5. Okay, so now since we are looking for 3A, so the area of uh, ADB is equal to 3A. So, but A is equal to 5. So, 3 times 5. So, area of ADB gives us 15 square units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you'll be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.